It's your boy John Money. It's your dog, Durban Kitchen, man. It's live on Views Front of Street. What you living for? Like, do you wake up in the morning thinking cash flow? Then do you push it to the limit or you grind slow? Are you the type shit on your ass and watch the time go? You won't find Viewers from the streets, I'm your host Zo, checking in, I'm sitting right here with John Marcus. What's happening? What's up, bro? Everything all right? All right, man, for the people that may not know with your incident, what happened? And I was in the car incident, man, 12 years ago coming from school. And uh, I actually was in the car with somebody that I didn't even know, man. Uh, just needed a ride home from school, man. I seen him outside. I was going to catch the bus, man, but uh, I was in the 12th grade. I was like, man, I ain't catching no bus. Man. So I seen one of my partners. He hopped in the car with a girl. I was like, man, who you ride with? He like, I'm hopping with, you know what I'm saying, such and such. So I was like, hey, ask him, can I get a ride? So when he got uh, asked him for a ride, he said, come on, man, let's go. So we ride, man. He hit a pole, man. I broke my neck. And I was in the car today, man, 12 years ago. And I take that I will walk again very serious, man. I don't I don't just market it, I brand it too, and I, I live by it every day. You know what I'm saying? What they say work without faith is dead, man. And every day I try to, you know what I'm saying, not I ain't gonna say every day, I'll be lying, but some days I work out, man, but you know, every day ain't good, so sometimes I just take a break off of it. But I try to work out and try to keep my legs motivated and just try to keep them straight for I will better walk again one day. I live by that. Got to claim it, bro. I believe you'll walk again too. I appreciate it, man. Mr. ESPN, how you get that name? <laughs> Mr. ESPN, man, you know, I was on ESPN, man. It probably was a short moment, but I was on there. But it was kind of tough, man, to get you to come on views from the street. You know, we small enough and coming. We got Mr. ESPN. I take it you're a Jaguar fan. I'm a diehard Jaguar fan, man. I've been a Jaguar fan since day one, man. I'm actually cool with a couple Jaguars, so that's even, even better. Yeah, we might get an interview out on. We can see what that work. We oh, definitely. you can't even do that, but you missed the ESPN. <laughs> but, uh, how many games you think they're going to win this year? I'm being realistic, man, not just because I'm a fan, but I like us 10-6. 10-6. 10-6. That's my first in the division. First in the division, man, make the walk. Second round. round of the playoff, man, we will win. We will win. Like, you involved a lot in the communities. You have a lot of projects and stuff you do with the kids. That's love, man. What you're doing, you know, giving back. What's your next project? What all What all have you done? My next project is uh to try to help my documentary all the high schools and the local high schools in Jacksonville right now because, like I said, I was in an accident, man. So I'm trying to get into the driver's ed class to let them know, like, even though it wasn't a, a free, it was a freak accident, but just try to keep them safety, man. I just want my documentary. I'm going heavy this year in the schools and try to get my documentary all the schools this year, man, and try to let them know, like, man, be careful, drive safe. You know what I'm saying? Because it's, it's an accident every day. People don't know that, but it's, it be an accident every day. But man, giving back to my community, man, that's what it, that's what that's what it's about for me. Because I didn't have people come back to my neighborhood to give back and stuff like that. I don't have no kids myself. I want kids, so me just giving back and talking to kids, it feel like. I'm a part of their life or any way I can help. It's a lot of single parents out here, man. Not even mothers, it's some single fathers out here. So any way that I can try to give back, I try to give back. You say you want kids. You know I'm a clown. And I ain't really clown on other shows like that. But you out here fucking, boy? It's time. Hey, man. <laughs> Still happens, you know. Still happens, man. Still happens, still happens. Still yeah. definitely happens. But uh, man, the John Marcus Project, man, y'all can find the trailer on YouTube. Type in hashtag the John Marcus Project. You also hit me up for John Marcus H Y B Y, which stands for Help Yourself, Better Yourself at Yahoo.com. You can hit me up on my email and I purchase a DVD through me. But man, I want to shout out. I also want to shout out the people who are definitely involved in the John Marcus Project, man. Renata Hannes, Tony Royer, Mayor of Mercer, man. I definitely appreciate y'all for believing in me. You know what I'm saying to get my story out. I can't. Without them, it'll be no John Marcus Project. I definitely got a shout out, man. Orion Reddit, dog. You know, he was, he would definitely, he would definitely a bit part of that, that, that John Marcus Project, man. 
at the viewing. If anybody saw me, y'all, y'all know I don't wear dress clothes. Oh, but he told me, man, you got to dress up. You made my bow tie for that, man. And that was the first time I ever put on a suit. Can't even lie to you, man. It was Cousin Hill. Thank you, man, for coming on Views from the Streets. Check us out. TNF Television 24 gmail.com. I'm Zo. That's Marcus. We out. From a man that wasn't even my number, what he said was a hundred grand. He said they only get to see you when you shine, but that work that you put in, it'll never cross their mind. Why? Cause everybody itch for the fame, but set right on their ass when they opportunity came. They don't really hate you, homie, they just hate just acting change. You know when I look when you get up, a nigga looking at the strain. They can't help it, they see the juice, they see the thirst, how the movie stressing. They see how you're killing the game without a weapon. And where you go, they scream your name, though you're a commitment. That hating shit be your disease, but it ain't infected. Two things. That nigga Lex Luger. I'm all at Dury Kitchens, and I'm sitting on Dury Kitchens, man. I'm moving all the work, and I'm cooking Dury Kitchens. I'm all at Dury Kitchens, and I'm sitting on Dury Kitchens. Just so, just so happened that I had two big brothers that, that kept me out of a lot of trouble. But I can't think of one cat that grew up older or younger from Murder Avenue that's, that's doing something positive. You know what I'm saying? For okay. me to be where I'm at today, you know what I'm saying? That says a lot. Okay, so you started off playing with Emmy Reed, right? And then you went on to play with Lee Boyd. So sports and your brother's inspiration kind of inspired you to go up. Pretty much, you know what I'm saying? That was that was like a, a additional, you know what I'm saying? Growing up, struggling how we struggled, that was all motivation I needed. Like seeing my home struggle day to day. That was all motivation I needed, but you know what I'm saying? Sports, that was, you know what I'm saying? Even if I didn't make it in sports, I know I wanted to do something. So sports was another thing that kept me out of trouble. My big brother's fault. Okay. And you went to football? Played football? Played basketball myself in very year. Uh, football, I played quarterback for safety in my eighth grade. Yeah. I ain't played no basketball that year. You took the year off? I played with PDL, but I ain't played. Well, I did that much? Just for the morning. I mean, hey, you, that's all I needed. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, so from both, you went to range, right? Tell right. me about that. But y'all went back to back, right? Mm-hmm. You know, I played for I was in, <laughs> whatever the fuck that was. But yeah. <laughs> I went to rain, I played right. whatever, but I ain't we did no shit like y'all. Right, right, Tell right. about that, man. It was crazy, man. You know what I'm saying? Everybody that no coach playing, everybody know he can reball. You know what I'm saying? To the, and he was trying to actually get me to go to reball. Right. Everybody know basketball is that reball. You know what I'm saying? Right. Everybody wanted to do that, so I went the other way. Right. I ain't know nothing about rain. You know what I'm saying? I met Coach White when I got over there. You know what I'm saying? It was, it was a struggle at first because, you know what I'm saying? I was still a little hothead. You know what I'm yeah. saying? As laid back as I am, I still was a little hothead. You know what I'm saying? That yeah, murder album. Right. Out. right. You know what I'm saying? Coach White tried to tell us what he wanted to do. He was like, you can't oh, tell me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know okay. what I'm saying? So, for that period, it, it was a struggle for real. But, you know what I'm saying? I had, I had some, some good people in my, in my corner that, that kept me happy with some school. Like, man, I wasn't going to school or nothing. Like, you know what I'm saying? But my ninth grade year was a struggle. My tenth grade year turned things around. You know what I'm saying? That's when we won the first state championship. My tenth oh, grade year. Eleventh grade year came back and won another state championship. Twelfth grade year we supposed to won, but you know what I'm 
saying? We're going to set the board down in Orlando before the final four. But overall, man, Grange, Grange was probably the best time of my life up, up to this point. For real, for real. Okay, and then from Grange, you were supposed to go to Florida for initially. Tell me about that situation. I was going to Florida, you know what I'm saying? Even went to summer school. I was down there with all the boys, Joe Kim, all the boys. Yeah. Working out, going to class with all the boys. And I, at the whole time, I was I was just waiting on the LCAT, my LCAT school to come back. Came back, you know what I'm saying? I ain't passed. So I went. I ended up going to uh, prep school for like two months just to take the LCAT. I ended up passing it. But Florida, they was like, they didn't want to take a chance on me getting in the system. You know what I'm saying? They have to do all that. So they were like, we just gonna go a different route. You know what I'm saying? So the rest of that year, I just set out. For the rest of 05, 06, I set out. Ended up going to St. John's University in May 2006. Right Six now, months. St. Louis, no, St. John's. St. John's. Uh, in New York. In okay. Queens, New York, you know, Big East. My bad, my yeah, bad. Yeah. So yeah. I, I went up, now you good, you good. <laughs> that's why I'm throwing it out there, but I was there for six months, you know what I'm saying? Then it came back like they flagged me off the SAT school. Mm-hmm. I had to leave, I had to leave in November, right before the season started. Then I ended up going junior college in Iowa for a year and a half in 2007. Then I went to Florida State. Tell me about Tallahassee, up down that hill. I was down on that hill too, boy. But I was at Bam. Yeah. I know you were around the corner. Tell me it's, about that hill. It's the same visit, man. Tell that boy. Oh, <laughs> it's a new old hill, boy. Oh, <laughs> I don't know, man. I, I, I had some great times with Tell that man. I, I met some of the cats that I met on my team. You know what I'm saying? From 08 to 2011. They, they like my brothers to this day. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm side, side of basketball, man, it was, it, was, it was great. It was a great experience. You really get to spend, like, both sides of the world, for real, for real. I'm at Florida State, but you got fam right there, so you got, you know what I'm saying? You got that, and then you got that, you know what I'm saying? So, it was, it was a great three years, for real, man. I'm a fan from Florida State. You had a couple of NBA trials, right? Mm-hmm. I worked out with, uh, first out with the Nets. Twice. That was that was it. I, you know what I'm saying? I, I had a good career, but you know what I'm saying? If you ain't averaging 15 points, I averaged 10 points, six rebounds, four assists, which was good in the ACC. And we went to the Sweet 16, but I didn't get a whole lot of workouts with it. Right. So I had two workouts with it. You know, I killed the edge, bro. Came back to play some of these. The year that I graduated, it was a lockout, so it wasn't no summer league. Okay. So I had to come back to the doctor and play real good. So even though I was hurt, I had fun specialized in the Still played really good. I was like nine and a half points for, uh, for the Nuggets. Then ended up signing with the top, like one of the top teams, you know what I'm saying, in Europe. In Greece, kind of the night goes time, two year deal. Okay. I had fun to take off from that. So this is still fifth year, I want to see six. You've been in the what, once? Twice, well, I got that. Yeah, yeah. Twice. No, right now I'm good. Right now I'm good. It was two years ago. Well, it was last year. You know what I'm saying? It was losing my head, hurt my head. And I was out like three months. But I ain't had them. I ain't never had to do no surgery. It wasn't nothing that serious. Not my head. Okay. Well, that's good, man. I appreciate you coming on the show, Sean. Uh, I got to ask you a couple more questions. Like, what's going on? Like in the real world, in our city, you know what I'm saying? We got a lot of issues with police brutality, things right. like that. You know, Jacksonville known as the crowd. Right. We don't know why. That's just what it is. Right. So, I mean, it can, be, it can make you a break. For sure. You know what I'm saying? That's so, what For real, boy. If you can make it out of Jacksonville, boy, you good, boy. Like, it's so much negative. It's, it's so much negative. It, as big as the city is, man, it's, it's, it's so much negative instead of people trying to build each other up, man. It's crazy, man. Hopefully, hopefully, these next few years, people can get behind each other. Right. And just support and stop being so negative for real, man. Because, I mean, you, I mean, y'all know, you know what I'm saying? Like, if, if you're from Jacksonville, if I go to, if I go to Fort Lauderdale, first thing to say about that, why are you going to Jacksonville? They need to killing them. You know what I'm saying? But we need, we need to change that for real, for real, man. And hopefully, these years to come. You know what I'm saying? Your schools are no good, you have no jobs, 
58% of your youth is unemployed. What the hell do you have to lose? If you talking numbers like that, man, it's, it's hard not to vote for him. I mean, as crazy as it is for him to even get this far, you know what I'm saying? That just show you where we are in, in the world right now, but if you talking numbers like that for our community, like how we growing up, for our people, it's shit. Why not? You know what I'm saying? If you gonna stand behind it, 100%, then why not? Man, Donald Trump a big joke, man. By him actually getting on TV and downgrading black people, man, that was a big loss. So how we can we trust him right now? He dogging us, like we definitely ain't gonna dog him. I mean, trust him in the next four years, man. That was that was crazy, man, for him to diss black people, man, on national TV, man. Same boat, man. The best thing ever ran on the track, man. That dude really fast, man. Like I saw him, he beat a dude almost two miles, man. That's crazy. But man, the next four years, he should come back and do it again because there's nobody in the world that fast. Carmelo get a pass, man. Yeah, no, like I said, he get a he get a pass, man, because he didn't team up with nobody to try to, you know what I'm saying, try to make a championship run. He stayed true to himself, man. He was on the different nugget. And with the team he had, he tried to go to New York and made him a better team, actually. But he don't get a pass, like I say, man. He the top five player in 2003 draft, man. He the, almost one of the two who didn't win a championship, even though LeBron and Bosch and Wade they combined on each other. But he was in the top four, man, and he didn't win a championship. Right up, boy. I don't know. I, I don't think he'll give him no pass, though, man. Because at the end of the day, if you want to be considered one of the greatest, it's just, it's just what they put that that, that stamp on is winning that, uh, that NBA championship. Even though he got three gold medals, I mean, that's not that's not really hard to do. I mean, if you're one of the top players, you're going to continue to be in the Olympics. So, but to win that championship, that's really, that's really setting you apart. So, I don't think that's giving him no pass. I want to see him get one, man, because he know. Like, I, I fuck with Melo, man. Like, Melo wanted to go do his own and out the court, so hopefully he can get him one, man. But it definitely ain't getting no pass. <laughs> Man, Power one of the best shows out right now, man. I love it. I just caught up, actually, I just caught up on it, man, this year. People been trying to put me on it, man, because I'm a big fan of Empire, but I love Power now, man. And, man, Ghost my boy, man, but, you know, I think he I think he went sideways by leaving his woman, man. But, like I said, he loyal though, to everybody, though, man. He, he tried to save his woman's life, man. And by leaving her to try to save her life. Man, Tommy, man, I'm glad he killed Holly, man, because that bitch right there was crazy, man. That bitch was trying to turn on Ghost, man. Turn him against Ghost, and like you know what I'm saying. That's his homeboy, man. They like burning film. What well, I heard, everybody says it's like the best show out. So if everybody's talking about it and everybody watching it, that shit, I want to check it out for myself. Like I heard, there's a lot of fucking going on. <laughs> but other than that, I heard it's a good show. Like everybody watching, so if everybody watching it, then why not give it a try, bro? I'm gonna check it out when the time comes. Hey, buddy. You wanna fuck my wife? You wanna fuck my wife? You are so fucking sick. Oh, I am? How'd that hit feel? Huh? You were getting me fuck out of my house. I need to do what? What? How was that dick, bitch? How was that? Get out of here. Man, I suppose you're sipping the other, man. That's, that's lame, man. You know, what y'all went through, man, that's what y'all went through, man. You know what I'm saying? That ain't gonna make you, at the end of the day, you still hurt. So why why expose the person that you was with? You know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's lame, man. You know This is why this generation is so fucked. So everybody goes a little slut. And I'm just gonna prove a point to everyone. Just so everyone can see, I'm going out with a bang. This is my last video I'm ever gonna make. But this is the proof of point. This little slut knows. She was seeing me, and now she's come to see my house, man. She thinks I'm overseas, but guess what? I'm fucking here, and I'm gonna show her who the fuck. Fuck you, mate. What are you doing? Yeah, who are you with? Hi, Who's that? Who the fuck's Who? Your friend? 
What do you mean you're proud? I'm proud of you. Show me. What are you doing here? What the fuck are you doing in my house? What? What do you mean? You don't think I don't know her? What do you know? What the fuck are you doing in my house? That's the greenest shit you can do, man. That's my... I'm, I'm speaking from my opinion, but man... If we rockin' with each other, like if we in a relationship, and then we break up... Regardless if I cheated on you or not, there ain't, there ain't nobody busy for you to be... That's, you got pictures and videos of us. You don't need to be putting that out. I think that shit lame. That shit green for real. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope I don't get caught in no situations like that, but nah, man, you can't be... I wouldn't do it, so I wouldn't expect her to do it, so... <laughs> That's it, <great. laughs>They got me up here with this last shirt. They know I drank a lot now, so that's why my shit tight right here. Don't trust no chick that messing with your dog. That law. If you come up, don't forget about your dog. That law. I'm a street, so it's the law. If you broke, that should be against.